Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I have with me Miss Kim. I'm so excited she's here. We're going to discuss just where she's at right now in her journey in the Diet Freedom Program. She's just been an awesome client. She's fun, and I just had to have her on. So, hi. Say hi, Kim, to everybody that's listening. Hi, everybody. <laughs> she got all dressed up for the call today, too. <laughs> yeah. I know you look all very rational over there. <laughs> so, you know, like I, I told Kim before the call, like these testimonials are just really fun. Um, cause it, 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 you know, we just want to shoot the breeze and really just celebrate. This is a celebration call. We shouldn't call them testimonials. We should call them celebration calls. Cause really this is what we're doing. And this journey of self care that really kind of never has a true end you know it's ongoing it just continues right. to evolve so you've got kind of a cool story so let's like take everybody back we started um well you and your husband rocky came to me yeah. trying to lose weight your referral and you know at the time i what did i say i said you know i'm gonna keep my eye on you because there were certain things coming out you know in our conversation that made me think hmm i think there might be some other things going on here besides just what she's eating so take me back what yeah. were your goals what were you thinking was going to happen in our first sort of initial uh time working together in the other program Okay, yes. Yeah. So you were very good at cluing in on, <laughs> on what was really going on behind the scenes. But what I thought I was looking for, uh, uh, my husband and I had been working out at our local gym. We had been working with a, a personal trainer for about a year or so and had, you know, some good success there. And um, we had been, you know, trying to uh, watch our diet and what we're eating. I had been doing some food logging off and on and just got to a place where I was like, Hey, I need to focus on my nutrition. Um, and he gave me your name. That's how we got hooked up. And I thought I'm going to come to Shelby. She's going to tell me like exactly what to eat and what to do to lose more weight, which was my focus at the time, like, uh, drop some more pounds and, oh, there was so much more in store. <laughs> Yes, because I was, I remember, you know, giving you some initial resources and I, I didn't do that, did I? I didn't tell you exactly what to eat and said I, I kind of had to nudge you to explore. Go ahead, take it from there. Yeah, yeah. so you, um, you had me uh, food log to give you some idea of kind of like what was going on um, with my diet and what, what I was doing and I was a really good logger and a yes. really good follower and yes you know keeping, keeping you know the the good in and the bad away and then uh, beating myself up when I didn't do that and so I was a good soldier in that respect but that's not what I really needed and you keyed in on that really quickly and I just let you go with it and I'm so glad <laughs> that I did I know, I know. So, we're, so we were like, okay, time out after a couple of weeks, and I'm like, look, I, I think you need different kinds of coaching. You need different resources. Like, let's switch, and we did. We got you enrolled in the Diet Freedom Program, and I mean, tell me what it, what do you think was? So, we wanted to tackle coming into the program, the good bad. There was a lot of restrictive talk. Yes. A lot yeah. of restrictive talk. What are what are some of the things now that you look back that? you know, we really honed in on very quickly there. Right. So I was really good at following a program, um, you know, being restrictive. For example, my husband and I had done different um, series of Whole30, you know, trying yeah. to follow that and, and, you know, go on and, and follow the program because I'm good at that, do great, um, you know, lose some weight, then try to wean off the program, go back to quote unquote normal, um, you know, fit that in and, you know, just gain weight back. And then, you know, what's happening and I, I'm not doing it right. And, um, all of that kind of thing. So really I was just trying to figure out, you know, since I was so good at following rules and following a program, you know, what, what am I missing? What is the, what is the missing rule that I'm not incorporating to make this work? Yeah. Yeah. And then we discovered really the heart of my, of my issue with the, the good, bad, and what I should be doing and shouldn't be doing, and so much negative self-talk. Yeah. But you know, you have a, you have an interesting kind of start because you, you really weren't binging. You know, it's not like you had, like, a lot of binges going on. You weren't really emotionally eating, but I, we picked up very quickly that 
there's just a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy and complication going into your eating, and it was there was no trust. There was yes, no trust was going on. Focused on food all the yeah. time. Yes. It just made me miserable and so frustrated, but not to the point of binging, just to the point of hyper focus on food and and my behavior and why why am I not getting this right? Yeah, exactly. Um, Very food focused. Eating myself up over, you know. It, it's just not working. So what, am, what, am, what is not right about me? Like it works for everybody else. Why isn't it working for me? That's what was going through my mind. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people get into that trap, Kim, you know, where it's, I'm just, I, what's the one thing I'm missing? You know, what is it? And we think it's a straight answer and, and again, yes. food related answer. And usually it, it's just not that. So Tell me some of the surprises that you experienced going through the training, you went through diet, the Diet Freedom University training. Yeah. And uh, what were some of your biggest surprises that you learned about yourself or about your body? Just that, um, you know, honestly, I was pretty damn good right where I was. <laughs> I, my, my body is, you know, it's functional, it's strong, you know, I'm, I'm in the gym, I can work out and I can, you know, move and do what I need to do. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it was amazing to me how simple once I started reframing what was going on in my mind, how easy and simple it was to, to feel so differently yeah. about self and about eating in general and working out in general. There wasn't any more... Um, have to or punishment or oh I had this so now I have to work out x amount of times this week and if I don't it's a fail not none of that I honestly feel like a different person yeah and I know that you just had this great oh. completely like I don't know what you did but it's a rewired <laughs> sister <laughs> we cleaned house that's what we did we got rid of the baggage yeah. <laughs> You know, and it was interesting because, like, I knew that there were things there that we were going to explore, but just, it just, like, kept coming out and more and more and more. Like, the more we talked, it was like, I had no idea that it went as deep as it did, which is yeah. good. I mean, thank goodness, right? So, um, tell me, tell me, tell, tell, I should say who's listening, tell your, your most recent experience of your vacation going home. Because, well, first of all, you were feeling sad and feeling upset and it was like a void. It was a need. And, and through your mindfulness, you're like, I can act on this need. I need to be around my family. I miss my family. Yeah. And you went to Florida. That was a win in itself that you were able to just really acknowledge that and act on that. Like that's yeah. a huge win in itself. But then your experience down there was something completely different. So I want you to share, if you don't mind, what were your experience like before? Like if you were to go on this trip and visit family, you mentioned it on one of our coaching calls versus what it really was this last go around. This is really cool. So it was, it was very different. So normally what would happen is if I would go down to visit my family in Florida, my mom and dad are down there, my brother's family and his wife and kids. And it would, so that would be our vacation. So, hey, it's vacation. That's like a free for all, especially like a food and drink free for all. Um, so, you know, there's all this ramping up. I'm going to be going on vacation. I need to work out and be ready because I'm really going to let loose and then, you know, eat all the bad food and drink all the, you know, beers and wines and cocktails and have fun. So, and then it would just be a lot of, during the vacation, uh, a lot of, in the back of my mind, like, oh, I, I really shouldn't be eating this. I really shouldn't be having this, or I ha shouldn't be having the dessert. But there's this awesome ice cream shop that's here, and it's only here, so I will have ice cream there every day that I'm here. Uh, so it was a lot of that in the old way. And going into this vacation was completely and utterly different, I think, um, the biggest thing was just just thinking about um, that simple thing of 
you know, the goal when I sit down to eat is to feel better after I'm finished than when I started. That was a giant shift. So just because the ice cream place is there doesn't mean like after I had dinner, I need to go have ice cream five nights in a row. Mm -hmm. so I was just able to, you know, enjoy the experience, enjoy the different, you know, um, restaurants or treats that were there in a reasonable way and really take them in and enjoy them. And there was no, um, no negativity around it. It was just, you know, this is, you know, this is my, my opportunity and what I'm going to do. And I really did a lot of thinking like, am I, am I really hungry? Do I really want this? You know, because all the food wasn't why I was going down. The yeah. And it was not at all. So I, I just had all of this energy around it. And this time it was, it was focused on fun and family and no, no worries around food. And it was just very, very different. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you were actually able to be present in yes. that vacation when before you'd be so distra distracted by food or weight or the should, shouldn't, the guilt, all of that sort of head games. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. there were no head games this time. And it was, uh, and I was noting that, like, a, as I was there, I was like, <laughs> wow, such a different headspace to be in. Mm -hmm. um, it was so refreshing. Um, and really, like, I did. I was just like, I, I am a new person. I That's love awesome. It. Isn't it awesome? I mean, so how else has maybe this experience affected you in, in other areas of your life? So I really feel like um, I, Honestly, I'm, I'm happier. I just feel lighter, happier. Um, I'm, I do have, uh, my mind is just freed up to like think about and focus on other things that I wasn't focused on because I was just so focused on, you know, what the next right thing to do was as far as, you know, what plan was I going to follow or, you know, what workout mm -hmm. was I, all of that. And now um, even I've been, uh, going to the same gym for about a year and a half now. And even, even my time going there is different. Now I just go, um, because it's fun and because I want to not like, I feel like I need to be there X amount of times a week, or, you know, maybe, maybe I'm extra sore. And I just think, you know, I think today I just need to rest. Like normally I would go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm just not feeling it today. I feel like, I should rest and I just, and I do, and it's, and I don't think about it again, like, oh, I should have gone. You know, it's not a good week if you don't go. Um, that, that is gone. Wow. Because I remember, like, because we talked about your workouts, because I know your trainer, yeah. and uh, it was a matter of, okay, well, well, what should I do when I go? How often should I go? How long should I do this or that? Is that right? It was all just so very, uh, very robotic and very yeah. weight loss oriented. I mean, which makes sense, but it was just like very passive for you. It was just like this thing. Right. Right. And honestly, I have had, um, the scale used to be so much of my focus and so much of my energy used to be around the number on the scale. And I, so now I really realized through, going to my gym and working there and working with you, my body has changed tremendously, but the number on the scale isn't very different at all. But mm -hmm. it's good. I have so much more lean muscle and I've lost body fat and all, all the good things. And I feel strong and, and capable and, you know, all this good stuff. But it, if you look at the number on the scale, that's, that's not what I should have been focused on yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, and it really made me miserable. Yeah, it, it, it does for so many. I had somebody this week on, oh, no, I'm sorry, last week on our call. You might've been on, no, you, you weren't on, but last week she, she's new to the program and she too was like, she, she put the scale under her bed. She actually forgot she put it under there. It was been like two weeks and she, she had an epiphany like, wow, I can't believe I, I haven't weighed myself in two weeks. And she realized I used to start my day every day with that scale and yeah. how much that literally shifted how she, the mood that she was in, the, 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 the obsession and the focus, you know, like you, 
with right. what, what do I need to do today? Or was it good, bad? You know, it, it really dictated a lot. And so people don't realize how much we really become depend on, depend, dependent on that. It almost becomes like we're, it's like a religion. We're just like yeah. serving it every day, you know? Exactly. And in a Scary. terrible way, because it made me feel awful about myself. Yes. And- and then the few times that you have a victory, it was like, ooh, you know, probably like water weight. Uh, <laughs> dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, speaking of, let's just take a minute because so many struggle with the negative self-attack, the negative self-criticism. That was an eye-opener for me when you did that exercise with me on the, the toxic, you know, the toxic worksheet. Yeah. Those are pretty deep toxic you know, things that you were really believing about yourself. Would you mind sharing some of those? Right. So I, um, once I started writing down on paper, um, these, you know, deceptive brain messages that, Mm -hmm. that, you know, teaching me about, I just, it was, it it was, it just poured out. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I wouldn't say these things to my worst enemy, but just, you know, like, what's wrong with you? You're not good enough. You, you know, you can't, you're not doing this right. Yep. Uh, you know, you're, I just look in the mirror and I don't recognize who I see and, you know, just picking apart little, um, little different things and, and the whole good, bad, like, um, just j- so judgmental about every little Very. decision around food, around, um, working out or, or not, um, and, you know, getting on the scale and just, just nasty, mean. (laughs) It was, it was like, you're bullying yourself. Yes. Like bullying yourself. And, and when I wrote it down on paper and I just really thought like this, and I admit, I know I mentioned it to you that my husband used to say to me, like, um, you know, what you're, what you're saying, like, is that working for you? Like, how is that, how is that helping you? How is that making you feel? And I couldn't hear it when he was saying it, Mm -hmm. but we're working through it and I was writing it all down on paper. It just, it was just kind of like in my face, like crushing, like, uh, I can't believe that I am doing that to myself. Mm -hmm. We do it so subconsciously. And it just yeah. just happens. Don't even realize it. That's why we have to take yeah. time to bring that awareness. So, so what are some of the things there that you have shifted? Like, what's some of the new sort of uh, inner dialogue that you have going on now? Yeah, I just well, uh, I'm awesome. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> In the morning when I wake up now, like my first thoughts are are positive and. Um, you know, instead of, it, it was also focused around like scarcity or lack, like, yes. oh, I, did, I didn't get enough sleep. So, you know, that's going to screw Big up one. my effort to try to lose the weight. And, you know, it, it was just all negative. So now it's just refreshing because I'm not, um, and there's no, there's no, um, like it's not contrived. It's not like I have to remind myself. It's just naturally, I'm just waking up and thinking, you know, about my day and what I'm doing and, you know, focusing on my life. And honestly, it's kind of weird now, but I like, I don't really have, I don't really think about like eating and working out. Like they're not top of mind. It's just part of my day. It's It's Um, no longer your day. It's just part of it. It's just a thing that I do and not the whole entire focus. And, um, and it, it wasn't a hard shift to make. It was, it almost was like a, a switch and I don't want to make it sound like too easy, but once you start to get it and you start to recognize, because of course it's not, it's not a miracle. I mean, some days I'll like, you know, walk by the mirror and be like oh you know just, <laughs> yeah but, but you think you think for a minute you just realize like okay you know I'm not going down that road you know I'm I'm good yeah you know you just have like a moment and you're like no so it's so it's a choice but it's but it's become natural 
to do it differently. Yeah. Differently. You really mastered the, the skill of, of mindfulness and that's what everyone is really after. Yes. And uh, you, you, you know, I, you were ready for it. Like you, you know, sometimes I'll have clients that come into the program like you and, and it's like you're bursting at the seams, like waiting for the information and then, my, and then I give it to you and you suck it up and it just, it just happens. Like things come to you very quickly. You excelled pretty quickly in this program, which is really fun to watch because again, yeah. you were ripe and ready for it really ripe yeah. and ready which is which yeah. is great because I had to go I mean some of the some of the areas I spent more time with and I yeah. went back and like sat with things more but um really just kind of the very simple um things that you're teaching like just thinking about you know am I hungry or you know why did you know why did that happen what if, if I ate too much like hmm okay, like what was going on there? You know, just like you say, get curious. I'm, I am, am great. You're that. a detective. <laughs> what's happening? You know, what's happening? <laughs> I don't want that to, to be like my fallback and, and have that happen. So what's going on? And so I'm just interested in myself <laughs> in a different way. Yeah. Rather than, you know, than just being judgmental, a judgmental bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right on. You were very judgmental. You were very mean. So this is this, I can see why you feel like a whole new person. Makes yeah. perfect sense. And, and, you know, that's why I wanted to have you on because I, I could just see the light, you know, I could feel the light and see the light. You're really just yeah. shining from your experience and really like you, you really made a committed effort and let's not downplay that because any anyone going through this process of trying to transform their relationship with food and body is not a linear you know it's not a linear thing it right. takes some time it takes commitment and it takes a lot of practice and it takes patience and yeah. you know that's just huge for everyone to to be reminded of um that's listening today that's still struggling out there so yeah. um so speaking of we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll wrap this up and we'll, we'll end if you have any advice for you know, anyone that's in, you know, in similar shoes as you that, you know, that's it's just been dieting, we've been very food focused, anyone that's going through this process, uh, just anything that you want to advise them, you know, if they're, that would help them. Yeah. Based on your experience. I say, yeah. I would just say, um, be open, like just completely have an open mind as to what might be going on. Like you might not be looking for what you think you're looking for when you get started and um just be gentle with yourself and um you know take it as slowly as you need to but it's it's a gift that you give yourself um so i would just i would just say go for it and and see what you find out about yourself and see where you end up um, yeah you might Surprised. You you might really be surprised. I know that, I I never thought when I started working with you. I think it was around close to Thanksgiving because I remember doing the holiday like tip yep. the holidays with you. And it was your first. I, that was the first class, wasn't it? Like in this I, side of things. <laughs> yes. yes. So I just never um, imagined that where I would be now, and I just I really feel like. Even the, even the holidays, even that first six weeks or so, even going through the holidays was a different vibe this, this season than, than I had before, but it's just been so impactful in a, in a relatively short period of time. So there's no like magic bullet, but, um, but it, it happened for me a big, a big change in the, in a relatively short amount of time and I couldn't, I couldn't be happier about it. Oh, well, that's wonderful advice to everybody. And I'm just so grateful that our paths have crossed. I swear every time I get someone in my program, it's like meant to be like you. It's been awesome. Yeah. I love it. I'm so yeah. proud of you. Thank you. And I'm sure that you're going to inspire many. Yeah. Um, but I I'm just, so. yeah, I mean, again, this is a celebration and Kim's not done. You're not done. You're, yeah. you're, you know, you're, you're still learning and you're still 
living and that's a whole new world too you know when we, when we now what you know okay i'm free of all this stuff like what do i want to do i mean that's kind of an unknown territory for many and you're you know you're entering that right now yes it is i'm excited and i know i'm not done it's like a continual journey and i'm i'm i just feel so much better for having taken the first you know, few miles. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got, you, I think you, you did a first few marathons. You've come a long way. <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you. Hang tight. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up, but thanks everybody that's listening and give two thumbs up to Kim. Good job, Kim. Woo! Very proud of you. All right. Hold tight. Thank you everybody.